problem number 7 air is contained in a piston cylinder assembly initially at a pressure of 5 bar and 300 kelvin a paddle wheel like in the previous problem a stirrer or a fan within the cylinder is rotated using an electrical motor till a work of 75 kilo joule per kg specific work is done on the air walls of the piston cylinder assembly are cooled using cold water such that the temperature of the air does not change however the piston is allowed to expand so that the volume occupied by the air initially is doubled okay to determine the amount of heat rejected to the cold water so you can see this this is the situation i can say there is a stirrer like in the previous problem so some work is given to the stirrer and here you can see there is a piston which is free to move so that it moves to another location the volume is doubled basically due to this so stirrer this work is transferred due to the stirrer and there is a heat rejection to the cold water q so that t is constant in the for the air okay so this is the so r so we can say that p v equal to m r t where r of the air is 287 so given that so this is the problem okay so to solve this given data p1 equal to 5 bar t1 equal to 300 kelvin which is given and uh, isothermal process so t1 equal to t2 and the specific work of the paddle paddle or fan is given as minus 75 kilo joule per kg why minus because work is done from the surroundings to the system so air is considered as a system for the air as a system work coming in is negative similarly it is known that v2 equal to 2v1 so these are the given data and we know that p v equal to 287 t okay so i will find the first specific volume at state 1 v1 equal to 287 into 300 divided by p1 5 into 10 power 5 okay so that will be equal to 0 0.1722 meter cube per kg that is uh, the specific volume one so that means v2 will be equal to 2 times v1 because its mass is constant because of the system system mass is constant so we can say this is 3 triple four meter cube per kg that's it so these are the two things now delta u equal to cv t2 minus t1 equal to 0 since t2 equal to t1 isothermal process so we can say q1 to 2 equal to equal to w 1 to 2 plus delta u 1 to 2 so this is 0 so we can say q 1 to 2 equal to w 1 to 2 where w 1 to 2 is written as w paddle plus that is a expansion here correct this expansion occurs at constant temperature so that means the expansion should obey pv equal to constant so when you write this it will be p1 v1 into natural logarithm of v2 by v1 so this will be the first law do you understand so 
P1 V1 is known, V2 V1 is also known. So, from this I can find this Q implies Q1 to 2 should be equal to minus 1 5 3 2 0 joules. Heat is rejected. So, you can see negative sign here. Work is also coming in from the surrounding. So, work is also negative. Uh, this also is negative. Okay. But please understand the paddle work is negative, but the expansion work is positive because volume doubles. So, there is a positive delta V that causes so the total work basically is the combination of the work which is coming in due to the rotation of the paddle and the one more is the expansion work which is done by the air. One is done on the air, one is done by the air. So, this is the problem number 7. Now, go to problem number 8. Here, the cylinder is divided into two compartments A and B as shown in the figure and there is a frictionless thermally insulated piston. Please understand this is frictionless thermally insulated. So, heat cannot cross these two A to B or B to A there will be no heat transfer. But it is free to move because it is frictionless and it is free to move. Now, the cylinder is well insulated except at the right end where there is can there can be a heat transfer. So, compartment A if you see it is totally insulated because the sides the walls surrounding the compartment A is insulated further the piston is also insulated. So, compartment A will be fully insulated. Compartment B will have piston the three sides insulated one side there can be heat transfer compartment B. So, initially compartment A contains 0 0.1 kg of air at 100 kilo Pascals and 40 degrees. Okay, compartment B contains 1 kg of air at the same temperature and pressure initially. Okay, so, I will say P A 1 pressure in the compartment 1 is the state initial state will be equal to 100 kilo Pascals which is also equal to P B 1. Similarly, I can say T A 1 equal to 40 degree centigrade that is 300 and 313 Kelvin equal to T B 1. This is also known to me. Then mass of air in the compartment A is 0 0.1 kgs. Mass of the in compartment B is 1 kg. Okay. That is it. So, these are the given data for, the, for, for uh, proceeding further. We should understand what is happening in the problem. Heat is now slowly added after the initial condition is achieved, heat is slowly added until the, so we can see obviously it is added to the B from the phase where it is not insulated and the final pressure is 300 kilo Pascals. So, P final, see please understand that if pressure of B reaches 300, automatically the pressure of A also should reach 300 because for the piston to stay at a particular location. If there is a pressure difference between A and B, the piston should have moved to should move to left or right, correct, based upon the pressure difference. So, the final pressure is common for both chambers that is 300 kilo Pascals. So, we can say P A2 and P B2 are same and the pressure is equal to 300 kilo Pascals. Now, P B equal to 288.68 T and the CV equal to 733. These are the given uh, information about the equation of state and the CV value. So, now how to solve this problem? First, we will find the volumes VA1. VA1 equal to uh, PA1 is known. So, mass in A is 0.1 into 288.68 the R value into temperature is 313. Correct. So, that divided by 100 kilo Pascal. So, 100 into 10 power 3. So, that will be the volume which is 0 0.09035 meter cube. Similarly, Vb1 can be found. Vb1 equal to 1 kg into 288.68 into same temperature divided by the pressure also is same. 100 into 10 power 3. So, which is equal to 
point nine zero three five meter cube. So now one thing we should understand that the piston now moves to the left. Okay, but because of the heat addition, the piston moves to the left and the pressure temperature increases in B, pressure also increases. So the A, the air in A undergoes a compression which is adiabatic, adiabatic compression. So we will try to do the first law for A. Okay. For A, we can write del Q equal to zero because all the sides are adiabatic here. Piston also is adiabatic. Three walls are adiabatic, and uh, we can say minus del W equal to du, which is equal to m C V D T. Similarly, del W can be equal uh, written as P D V. So I can say. Minus P D V equal to M C V D T. So now P V equal to two hundred and eighty-eight point six eight times T. This is given. So that means I can say P equal to mass into two hundred and Eighty-eight point six eight into T divided by the volume V. Because I want to use this for the integration. Okay. So I can say minus M into two hundred and eighty-eight point six eight into T. By v, so now dv by v, right? dv by v. This will be equal to m into cv into dt. Okay. From this, I have written this. So now I can further write this as dv by v. I keep dv by v here and take all other terms there. Mass cancels. Okay, now I want I know the value of this CV also, so I can write this as seven. What is CV? Well, seven one seven. Okay, so go back and see this CV seven thirty three. Okay, so seven thirty three. The right hand side divided by this I will bring two hundred and eighty eight point six eight. So I will put a minus sign also here minus because this minus sign goes there. Into I will say dt by t. Okay, so separating the variables, I separate the variables. Now I integrate. Integrating, what I will get is natural logarithm of v two by v one will be equal to minus two point. Five three nine one into natural logarithm of t two by t one, or I can say v two by v one will be equal to t two by t one whole power minus two point five three nine one. Okay, or t one by t two power positive two point five three nine one. So. We know that using the equation of state, v two by v one can be written in terms of p two by p one. Okay, so that means v two by v one equal to p one t two divided by p two t one. Which implies, I can say p one by p two will be equal to t one by t two power three point five three nine one. So this is the condition for the for y. So now from this, I can find 
see what is given is final pressure is given initial pressure is known so p 2 for a p a 2 by p a 1 is 300 by 100 that is known initial temperature is known for a and b so a is 313 from then i can find the final temperature in a correct so which implies t 2 will be equal to T A 2 which is equal to 427 Kelvin. So, by applying this first law and uh, writing this for a adiabatic process, I can say that the final temperature of the A is this 427 Kelvin. So, that is done. So, from this I can find the final volume in A. What is final volume in A? We know the final pressure. So, this is again mass of the vessel A 0.1 this 288.68 R value into final temperature is now known that is 427 which we have calculated divided by the final pressure that is 300 kilo Pascals. Now, if you substitute this I get 0 0.041088 meter cube. So, you can see that initial volume of A is 0 0.09 it has reduced to 0 0.04 because of the compression. Now, what is the volume? So, this this is about the A vessel A. I have found the states that is whatever be the initial final condition I have found. Now, to proceed, I need to find the state of the A also. So, we know that go back to the figure piston is now at a particular position. The volume occupied by A, air in A, volume occupied by the air in B, if you add them it should be same wherever the piston moves, correct. So, initially there is a volume occupied by A which is calculated here 0 0.09035, volume occupied by B is 0 0.9035. Now, it is compressed to 0 0.04 something. So, this would increase but the total should remain the same. So, we note that initial volume in A plus initial volume in B should be equal to the final volume in A plus final volume in B. This you understand because of the where are the piston moves. Okay, one volume should increase, one volume should decrease. So, using that I can find, now I know V A1, V A2, V B1. So, I can find V B2 equal to V A1 plus V B1 minus V A 2. So, that will be the final volume that is 0 point you can see it is increasing 9527.62 meter cube. So, once you know the final volume I will find get the final temperature in B. The final pressure is known 300 kilo Pascals. So, that will be equal to 300 into 10 power 3 pressure into the final volume 0.952762 divided by 1 kg in the B, B that is 1 kg of mass into 288.68. So, that will give you the value of 990.1 Kelvin. So, this is the temperature. So, finding the state you have to understand that there are two important things here. Adiabatic compression occurs in A, adiabatic compression occurs. So, in order to calculate that, I have to do the first law and uh, integrate uh, or I have to find a relationship between pressure ratio and the temperature ratio when there is adiabatic compression. Okay. Now, then I find the temperature, final temperature of the A. Using that volume is fine, found. Now, you use the balance here that is the initial volume and final volume of two chambers should be same. Okay, wherever be the piston. So, using that concept, we have found uh, the final state for the B also. Pressure only was known. So, one more property should be known that is Vb. After that, the equation of state is used to find this. So, now I can find, I can now take A and B as system. Okay. So, A plus B as system because now, I know what is the exact Q. W will be equal to 0 because 
for a and b the total volume should be the same so there is no volume same change okay for a and b separately there may be volume change but together if you take the volume change will not be there so w will be zero so i can say q equal to delta u so now what is delta u delta u for a plus delta u for b now we know the initial and final temperature in a initial temperature is 313 in both final temperature in a is 427 final temperature in b is 990 so i know do this so this is m 0.1 into 733 that is the cv value given correct cv into a for a it is 427 minus 313 plus 1 kg in the b same cv because same material into here 990.1 minus 313 so this will give q value as 5 0 4 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 21 22 23 joules this is the answer so fixing the state and finding applying the first law to find this so that is the eighth problem the ninth problem now solution for this first the problem is again there is a two compartment here one compartment has 1 kg of air at 5 bar and 350 and second compartment has carbon dioxide 3 kg of it initially at 2 bar and 450 confined at opposite sides of a rigid well insulated container the container is well insulated there is a partition this is the partition which is initially held by a pin this is a pin which is holding the partition here this is thermally conducting in the previous case was insulated no this is thermally conducting now the pin is removed the one because it is held by the pin it is static here but when the pin is removed it is free to move thermally conducting as well as is free to move so when when the pin is removed then the piston will move so that you see that the gases will be attaining an equilibrium state final state will be equilibrium state please understand that since there is no heat transfer from the air to the surroundings or co2 to the surroundings only the heat transfer will occur between air and co2 that means you will see that that initial temperature can be different but the final temperature should be the same so equilibrium condition mechanical equilibrium the piston should go to such a location where pf is common for air and co2 similarly since it is thermally conducting thermal equilibrium also will be attained so that there is a final temperature which is common between air and co2 so that is the thing so how to solve this problem so here air and co2 are assumed to be pure substances air obeys pv equal to 288.68 t cv is 733 For CO2, PV will be equal to 189 T, and CV is 750. That's it. So when you handle, so there is this I call A, this I call B. So when I handle A R, I have to use corresponding equation of state. This PV equal to 288.68, and CV is 7733. For CO2, I have to use the equation of state as PV equal to 189, and CV equal to 750. That's it. So the initial pressure I will write in the same notations P A one equal to five bar T A one equal to three fifty kelvin sim and mass of A equal to one kg. Similarly P B one equal to two bar that is two into ten power five pascals and T B one equal to four fifty kelvin. Mass of B will be equal to sorry three kgs. It is given. Now same thing will obey here. So you can find volumes. Correct. V A one from the equation of state for the air. That is, you can find this as point 
volume 1 1 into 1 kg into 288.68 into 350 divided by 5 bar 5 into 10 power 5 equal to 0 0.2027 meter cube similarly vb1 can be found as 3 kg into 189 into 450 divided by 2 into 10 power 5 that will be equal to 1.27 575 meter cube so we also like in the previous problem i can say va1 plus vb1 will be equal to va2 plus vb2 so this equation is important for us so now taking a plus b as the system okay now thoroughly insulated correct so if you go back you can see that it's totally insulated so totally insulated then volume change for this rigid vessel correct rigid vessel also so no change in volume for the combined system of a plus b plus no heat transfer also so it's simple for me q minus w equal to delta u so this is also zero work also is zero so delta u equal to zero that's what we are getting so what is delta u delta u will be equal to delta u equal to delta u for a plus delta u for b which is equal to for a mass in a is 1 kg its cv is 733 okay so i can say 1 into 733 into that is the final common temperature we told now it will be equilibrium temperature that minus initial temperature of a is 350 substitute that 350 plus for b it is 3 into 750 cv is 750 750 into tf minus 450 this will be equal to 0 from which i can find tf as 425.4 kelvin i can find this okay this is first one second one is see what is asked here is to find the final temperature and final pressure determine the final temperature and final pressure final temperature is got by energy balance applying first law how to find final pressure we have to apply this equation so we know that v a1 plus v b1 will be equal to 1.477826 meter cube that is we have calculated these two in the initial condition that should be equal to v a2 plus v b2 okay now how to calculate v a v a2 i know now the final temperature but pressure is not known okay so we have say pv equal to m r t so i can say v equal to m r t by p that i will apply here so what i will apply here for a2 is a2 as a mass of 1 into r is 288.68 into t is t final okay i can also substitute this as 425.4 divided by i don't know the pressure so i just say pf similarly for vb2 it is what is the mass 3 kg and uh, r is 189 correct so the substitute is 3 into 189 into same temperature same pressure so i know the left hand side this should be equal to this only unknown is pf so this implies pf will be equal to 246312 pascals or 2446.3 kilopascals so this is the way so there are two things here one is the energy conservation taking the total rigid vessel as the system there is no so rigid vessel so no volume change well insulated that means no q so 
q and w becoming zero delta u equal to zero that energy balance will give the final temperature and that this conservation of volume initial volume total initial volume should be equal to total final volume in the both chambers that will give you the final pressure okay